welcome to your Monday One Show live on BBC One and I play with Jermaine Genius. And Alex Jones, uh, well, it's been a busy couple of weeks. We've crowned a new king, a new queen, and on Saturday night, a new Eurovision winner. Uh, so huge congratulations to Laureen, who won it for Sweden with this amazing performance. And she'll be joining us right here for her first TV interview later on. Exciting. And what a night it was. The Eurovision final and the coronation were two of the biggest broadcasts of the year watched by millions worldwide. And tonight, we are going to be taking you behind the scenes for an exclusive look at how these two epic events all came together. Some show, wasn't it? Oh, it was. From all the work behind the scenes to broadcast the crowning of the king to another huge event, the crowning of the best song. Cue the music. The Eurovision Song Contest came to Liverpool on behalf of Ukraine, with the BBC Studios entertainment team responsible for producing three huge live shows watched by a predicted 160 million viewers worldwide. It took the BBC four weeks to prepare the arena for the shows. It's absolutely enormous in here. The stage looks incredible. You walk around the Liverpool arena and there are thousands of people working on this production. There's a stage crew whose job is to get those props on and off in 40 seconds. And it's quite amazing just watching them. There's upwards of 70 or 80 people on the stage, all moving and coming off and going in at different times and different lighting conditions. For me, it's the biggest challenge I'll ever do. That turnaround is really intense. You're coming out from one country into another. We've had a couple of hairy moments, but that's what rehearsals are for. In the week building up to Saturday's final, the team also had to deliver two televised semi-finals. During the broadcast, I've got all the monitors in front of me. Um, we have 26 cameras, so I'm talking to the camera operators, the stage management team. There's a lot of information going backwards and forwards. It's a very busy show. They tell me that there are 2,000 specialist lights to make it look this epic. And you know, that's without even thinking about what goes on backstage hair, makeup, costume to bring the whole thing to life. Yes, when you're watching all those fabulous costumes, I bet you don't think about what it takes to bring them together. Costume. Hi. Aside from the main acts, there were hundreds of additional performers who all needed to be dressed. You must be so busy. Look at these boots. Who are these for? Sonia. Sonia. How long have you been working on costumes for this? Uh, I started in January. Oh, my goodness. There's 16 of us and the designer delivering the three shows. It's about 480 costumes. And you can't be in a costume without incredible makeup. How many makeup artists do you have then? So I have a team of 34, and that includes makeup and hair and assistants. How many people are you actually making up then? Um, by the, the final, over 200 people. And it wasn't just the main event. Everyone from BBC Breakfast to Radio 2 were there. Super Saturday, we're live in Liverpool. Eurovision, so incredible so far. And of course, the one show was right in the heart of it all too. Broadcasting live from our very own studio in the exhibition centre next door. Look yeah. at this. Hey, we've had an upgrade. Wow. Well, they said there'd be a view, but look, we're literally in the sea. And the arena's there. This is gorgeous, I love this. We even had to get Ryland, my co-presenter, on the Saturday night from oh, the One Show studio to the arena to commentate for Radio love 2 with lots. just minutes to spare. Love, love, babe. And so, after a huge amount of dedication and preparation from the BBC team, it's showtime. There's been weeks and months of work gone into this. It's really special to be a part of it. It's an undertaking like I have never seen before in my life. There's something about bringing the nation together over eight days and it's the BBC at its best. It's been a real team effort to bring these events to life right across the BBC and haven't they looked brilliant? We really hope that you've enjoyed them. Oh, now then, May did us really proud yeah. on Saturday night. Lovely May. But Sweden were always one of the favourites. And I'm pleased to say we are joined by their winner now. It's Laureen! <laughs> Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. There she is. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know how to do this. Oh, <laughs> you. 
huge congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and they tell me that Tattoo is now the number one song on Spotify. Is it? It is! <laughs> is that news? Um, That's so, amazing. Uh, have you come back down to earth? Are you still flying high? Oh my God, this is so surreal. I'm flying high. Call me in a week or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, it's massive. It's this, this was, it was it an incredible so beautiful. Yeah. performance that you put on. I mean, what was it like performing on that stage on Saturday night in Liverpool? It was it was amazing. Yeah. I mean, the audience was on fire. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm an audience type of, I'm a people's person. So if I connect with the audience, the performance is like, it's set, yeah. you know? So, so it was it was amazing. Amazing. Really. And then during the results, it really came down to the <laughs> wire. It was a nail biting finish, yeah, wasn't it? it? Was. Just talk us through this moment at the end. It's sort of between you and Finland. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Look and at I that. love that song as well. Yeah, yeah. Like... Oh, me too. Yeah, well, that was like, I wasn't shocked. You know, I, 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 I went into this competition without any expectations that's my way of like, protecting my heart just to like you know whatever happens happens but you know that more i was in shock when they said it was almost like i didn't understand i'm like what really what, what? what? <laughs> but after that you know i have to say it after that when i walked to the stage it was i felt such gratitude gratitude yeah. to the people to everybody this journey has been amazing, man. Yeah, nice moment, nice moment. We've had loads of messages uh, in for you, oh, really? We have. Uh, Rob has uh, messaged in and he said, uh, how does this win for Tattoo feel dif different to when you won Eurovision in 2012 with Euphoria? Well, you know, 2012, that was like, I, I, I was, everything was so new. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, you know, and there was a lot of things that happened there, you know. But this, this time, you know, it's like coming back to, your family, you know, you've had an 11-year-long relationship. You know? yeah. So it was very familiar. Everything was so effortless and, you know, soft and very... It was very loving. I was very present compared to the first time, okay. to be honest. Good. Yeah. Well, shall we talk about maybe a third time? Because, just hear me out, Sweden will be hosting <laughs> next year, obviously. Yeah. And it yeah. coincides... This is a bit of trivia for you now. Coincides... 50 years since ABBA won with oh, Waterloo. Really? Yes. So oh, it's an four. epic year. Hey. Now, yeah, what would make it better, <laughs> therefore, is a hat trick from yeah. Laureen three oh. years in a row. Yeah. C would you do it? Uh... <laughs> no. If not, maybe get ABBA. Yeah, maybe get ABBA. <laughs> no, no, but uh, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Let's see oh, what well, there life you are. has in store for me. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe Ab and Lorene mash yeah. up. Oh, wow. Yeah, Good no. one, Philip Glenister. <laughs> yeah, love so it. Yeah. Creative. Love it. I'll invoice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I said, we've got plenty of messages uh, oh, for you, Lorene, as well. Oh, okay. um, Craig on Twitter yeah. has said, Massive congratulations, oh, Lorene, on making history. Oh, wow. I loved your song uh, the second I heard it. Oh, wow. Making uh, people very, see what very I mean? happy. Rebecca on Facebook says, this is nice, congratulations on your second win. I've been a massive fan since Euphoria. Right. Your songs hold a special place in my heart. I hope you come to London on your European tour. Are you? I am. Yes, she is. <laughs> Finally. Like, You're an amazing performer. Thank you. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. And we got one more, actually. All right, you got one more. OK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ellie on Twitter uh, has messaged in and she said, Laureen, uh, you, make me, you made me fall in love with music again. How nice oh, is that? Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's why you do it, I suppose. I. That's really why I'm exactly. doing Put it. It was a brilliant night. Well, off you go to right now next year's entry. Yeah. <laughs> that's the next job. Oh, she's planning this. <laughs> <laughs> um,